What's up everybody, this is Aprilia and today we're going to be looking into the brand new Gen 3 Alpha by Runway ML which literally came out like two hours ago and everybody who has basically the paid subscription to Runway ML can start now experimenting with the Gen 3 Alpha and the prices basically start around I believe $15 per month in case you're going to go for the yearly subscription it's $13 a month and you get like what like seven eight hundred credits with the lowest subscription and we're going to be obviously looking into now what can the gen 3 do i think one of the things i want to first talk about is the capabilities compared to gen 2 so the gen 2 obviously is the previous version and i want to kind of show you what i was basically prompting out with gen 2 first before i tried gen 3 so i basically used a same uh, prompt here for you know rapids jumping up on a, no, you know, here is it rabbits jumping up and down a boxing ring. And you can definitely see that the quality is like, okay, but there's so much disfiguration and distortion on the movements and everything, and they're not jumping at all. So what does exactly the same prompt look like on the Gen 3 version? And this is the end result that I was able to get with this same prompt using Gen 3. And obviously, like the footages that you see on their main you know, website, like make it seem like very professional and very high end. But obviously, as I keep saying on a lot of these reviews is that they tend to put out like the best products on the actual main page and kind of show the very best prompts out of like a thousand or something like that so i mean this is clearly better than gen 2 it's a lot more closer to the prompts idea it's jumping inside the boxing ring but there's no floor here for some reason and there's a bit of like disfiguration here in terms of the the pause of the rabbit but i mean it's not too bad okay so let me kind of show you uh, some of the other things that I was basically prompting out. So one of the things I didn't see anybody do, so I wanted to see, can he actually do anime? And I just put out two anime characters fighting each other. And well, the it's kind of like putting out, this is not something that I expected, but the, the versus thing is actually kind of genius in itself. But you can definitely see in the way that the characters are drawn, they are very, very off, especially this blonde character on the side. And they're not really fighting, they are about to fight. But I, I do kind of like the end result. It's kind of funny, but yeah, it's not exactly what I was looking for. Another one that I really had a pretty good time with was this Kaleidoscope. I saw Wolf basically use this one, so I decided to like try it out. And this is one, one of the more like higher end prompts i would basically say that looks more like this is something that could be probably sold on a stock video footage website that's that's probably what a lot of people want to do is like hey i have these short clips and these could be used as stock footage and i mean for our personal projects or just like selling them so i think this is a pretty close to a professional version obviously the quality is only 720p Hopefully they will have some type of upscale feature coming out in the future. But let's look into another one. This one also, I think, probably one of the better ones. So I basically put out a time lapse of a busy downtown street. And yeah, you can see certain movements of very particular moments where the car look, kind of cars look very weird. But this whole idea of like, you know, it's starting out the day and then it goes into night and the shadows and everything, like they look pretty good. And you can see obviously the streets and the symbols in there are like kind of off like there's too many white lines here but i think it looks pretty good to me i mean if you would not pay a lot of attention to it you know i think this is a pretty nice end result now let's look into some of the things so there was the mammoth thing on sora's website so i decided to do, try to do something else well clearly it's kind of looking like a mammoth but not really at the same time and it's walking backwards so <laughs> it's it's not exactly what i was looking for but hey it's it's not too bad in terms of the quality it's just like it's kind of disfigured i don't know are those supposed to be teeth or what then i wanted to do this fountain thing and maybe the prompt could have been better but i mean the first few seconds are good but then there's another fountain on the top of the uh, uh, on the roof which is kind of funny but i mean even that it's not like too bad and I, th I think it looks okay but yeah you can see a bit of like once again it's not 
entirely the best. And then there was another one with the Sora with the coffee where there was battleships inside the coffee thing. I tried at the same prompt here. And then there's this weird paper thing that comes out in the end. I think the flow of the coffee here otherwise is actually kind of nice. I, I like it, but the whole ship thing, I mean, maybe, maybe could have been done better. Another one that I used from Sora was this animation of a fluffy creature. This one also turned out to be, mm, I guess, okay, but definitely not in the same quality that Sora was able to prompt. Another that I basically tried out from Sora was the actual eyes. And here you can definitely see this is a male's eye. This is a male's eye. It, this pre precisely said woman's eye. But this is also kind of, there's something wrong about this side of the eye, but I can't really tell it. But I feel like this is a pretty close to an image that could maybe get passed on like a stock footage website or something. And, you know, I think it's pretty well done. Um, I, I do like it, but it's definitely not a woman's eye. It's, it's not. And then was there an art gallery? This is actually something I didn't even see yet. And, okay, this is actually not too bad. This was all another Sora's prompt. So here is the actual interface. Compared to Gen 2 is that you can also have an image input here for gen 3 there is no such option there's only very few settings here one is removing the watermark you can't change the resolution right now and then there's obviously custom presets which are the ones that you are going to be writing and then there is two options for five seconds and ten seconds i'm obviously going to be using five seconds here because to me that's personally well it's going to be costing less credits so the credits i think is by like 10 credits per one second or something. So it's gonna be pretty costly, 50 credits for five seconds. So it's not exactly very cheap. So you gotta be really careful about prompting here. And there isn't, far as I know, any slow mode available, if I, don't re if I recall right. And that's kind of like a problem because for people who have maybe prompted out images before. So let me do something very, very random here. Let's try out like, a Chinese dragon breathing fire. So very, very simple thing. And it takes around, I want to say around two minutes perhaps to basically uh, get it up running and then prompting it out. So obviously the five second clips are probably going to be taking a lot less time than the 10 second clips. And as I was saying, like, it seems to actually do pretty good job. And one of the things that I've kind of noticed is that if you use words like slow movement or slow pan, it seems to do a bit better job. Anything with a lot of sudden movements, like with a lot of these other products that we have reviewed on the channel, they're not so good at it yet, quite yet. And I think maybe having reference Im images in general also makes a bit better job, like what you're basically trying to do, like you're already like giving out a shot, which can be already like zoomed in or zoomed out. But I think in terms of like proof of concept, like we have reviewed a lot of these video generators at this point, and I haven't obviously tried out the, what was the, the Chinese one, I can't remember the name right now, yeah, Kling and Sora. So without having to experiment with those two, it's really hard to say for me, like which one is the best. Obviously the high end, you know, products that Sora has showcased us so far do look better. And a lot of people are kind of losing interest on Sora because it's like taking so long. Okay, let's see our dragon here. So here we have very, well, actually in terms of if the, if the fire would come out from the mouth and not actually from the neck, this would be actually pretty decent footage. It just reminded me of the early 2000 CGI clips, which is kind of nice. So actually that's not too bad, but obviously like can't really use it because it's not coming from the mouth. But I, I do want to like say that that's like pretty good. So I think this is maybe more of a skill issue. So if you're really good at prompting with Jen uh, Runway, you know, you might get a lot more better prompts than what I showed you here today. But then again, what I'm trying to say is that because there's a limited amount of credits, you just don't have the trial of error so much 
because there's no slow mode or anything where you can test out like what are the best best ways to prompt so you kind of have to ask around or look guides for like pretty good keywords to basically find out the specific thing that would be working out for you but obviously i'm very interested to th know what you guys think about runway gen 3 and is it good is it bad is it better than the rest of the market that is currently available i would love to know that in the comment section below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for the other reviews coming up very very soon cheers